part two of our wander upon the city of Cork, Freemasons Hall. <laughs> and just over there is our point of interest, which I'll take you to right now. And this is it, the medieval wall at Grand Parade. So I'll show you the wall and then I'll run through the information that's attached. Cork is one of the oldest cities in Ireland. There's been a walled town since the 13th century. Maps from the late 16th century show the medieval walled as impressive oval area of two islands with 16 towers and two gates. You can pause that now if you want to read the rest of the information. So as you can see with this, with the excavations, this was buried. This is the old world, the old city of Cork. It's quite literally buried. That is where we were just standing, just to bring you here for some more information. The Grand Parade is one of Cork City's principal thoroughfares since 1789, but was once a waterway. The Berwick Fountain was erected in 1860 and occupies the site of Tucky's Bridge, a former crossing of the old waterway, which is this fountain just over here. Again, I'll bring that back so you can pause that if you want to read the rest of it. We were just over there looking at the fortified walls and we have this these bricked up windows at street level right here and if you read the placard you'll know that it's six meters deep that wall and it is quite literally buried and obviously the city has expanded since there but right now we're going to take a walk to the outer edges to some other points of interest that we didn't cover in part one but this building right here that I wasn't planning to walk to but we've just stumbled across it as it usually happens and it is rather interesting, so we're going to take a look at this. Got some lower level entrances, copper dome that we can't see now. But again, the tororal field at the top of the pillars, and also there, red brick building, which we're going to take over, going to take a look at right now. And that is why I like walking around because you discover buildings such as that that perhaps not on the map, not significant as the others, but still very interesting to see. Anyway, we'll continue on with this part two. We're just in Fitzgerald Park before we get to our point of interest. Check that old world fountain out in this body of water right here. Looks like a man-made body of water. You've got a river just on the other side there, which I think feeds most of the old world structures that are around they're very very close to the river which is something that we always find and true to irish form it's starting to rain it is starting to rain and getting a bit windy but hey we don't worry about that this is proper irish weather you've got glorious sunshine as you can see with a good shower a good shower to go with it that is irish weather but we're going to cross this bridge right here make our way up into the hills over there and we've got a gorgeous rainbow to go with this beautiful settings of Cork City. Our Lady of the Rosary Catholic Church. This isn't actually where I was intending to go, but it's close to where I'm looking to go. And why not come over and check it out? When you've got this beautiful spire here, oscillation points again, and the main focus of the central building. Two gargoyles, which we spoke about in part one, being with the water. Francis Wise, who having contributed 3,750 towards the building of this church, erected the tower and spire at a cost of 2,500 in 1879. Holy water. Well, you can't get any, any holier than the living waters, the springs, the old world springs that seem to be vanishing, vanishing at a rapid rate. Right. Let's get to our real point of interest, even as good as that was. We've got some old world red brick buildings to take a look at. That is where we just were. That spire right there, beautiful skyline. And this is the Gaul. Gaul. <laughs> Probably pronouncing that wrong. But it is a, a prison, or it was used as a prison. I don't think it was built to be a prison, like most things in this world, they become repurposed. We're not going into the prison. I'm gonna be doing a prison tour 
at another town that I'm going to. So I don't want to do two prison tours in one video. And that actually wasn't the red brick building that I was talking about. It was just worth showing, seeing as we were there. This is on the same street, old world buildings. Check this interesting building out. We've got a copper dome there with an antenna or a weathercock today. We've got two spire domes just behind that roof there, if you can see the tips. We've got an interesting window point, an old world red bricks. Let's go and take a look at this building. That building is the School of Music. We've got a date there, 1872. But I don't think they built this as a school. That is repurposing. There's the entrance there and the street level that side. But as you can see, clearly goes down a lot further. An interesting centre point. So obviously these are all filled with windows today, but I don't think that is what they once were. Also the chimneys as well. Chimneys, so many of them lined up together. I think that is just repurposing. Copper dome. Same building, follow it round, and it becomes this church, and that is the two domes that we saw there, mini domes, we've got a centre point right there, interesting oscillation, just much of the same as what we expect from these old world energy buildings. You can see all of the oscillation points on these lower windows, and then we get to the main oscillation point on the main building, the main structure. Look at those magnificent oscillation points right there, you can see the designs clearly have a purpose, not just there for the decoration like we are told. St Vincent's Church, Sunday's Well. Sunday's Well, that is an interesting name, that is the name of this road that we're walking on. Wondering whether that is reference to the Living Waters in some capacity and it just mentions there about the stained glass windows being installed some 40 years after the actual foundation stones were laid for the building. Again, I think these stained glass windows are a later inception. There was something else there, something similar to what we see in the centre point, the oscillation, the oscillation circles, some kind of old world technology. City parking, 109 euro a month. <laughs> dear oh dear. That is a rip-off if I've ever seen one, I tell you. Back of that building. Clearly got some lower foundations as well. We're just dealing with the side entrances here, which is the street level we're at. As I've spoken about before, these buildings even look like they go much, much deeper. Look at this old world building here. Unfortunately, my battery has died on my phone, so I don't know what that building is. But sometimes we don't need to know what the building is. We just need to see it to appreciate its wonder. And that is a truly beautiful building, to say the least. You can see some arches as well. See an archway just down there, blocked up, perhaps water running underneath at the foundation level. Yeah, it's really gorgeous to see. There we go, some information there. These are Maltings, a brewery founded in 1813. So you can pause that if you want to read through. That word founded is rather interesting to describe when a building was supposedly built. Because when we find something or we found something, it's not when we built it. So interesting choice of words right there. Saints Peter and Paul's. Let me take you to the front of this building so you can get a good view of it. Just caught the back end of some church bells right there. As I've spoken about these being energy healing through sound, vibrations. Even the bells that we're using today, they're modern day bells because you can find many examples of old world bells that are humongous, they are gigantic. And this is what we're using today, isn't the old world bells. This building just to the side as well.
this is us back on the street that we started with the Masonic Hall. And an interesting monument right there, like a market cross that we call in the UK, right on the river as well. As I've suspected, I believe some capacity with living waters, these old world monuments. And we've got one last point of interest right over there that you can see. And this structure in front of me is what I was suggesting earlier and I didn't know that this building was going to be the example that we were looking for but you know this tower there is no glass and you can see just inside it has the glass, the stained glass windows that we see in these structures but this is how it would have looked before except the entire space would have been filled with that geometric formation. It is a technology of some sort to assist the oscillation of ions. And there you have it, the Holy Trinity Church. You can see that is empty space also. Part up there still has some of the oscillation technology. And these statues that we find in the spaces here, I think they're a later inception and I think something was in there. Something was in those points previous some sort of technology of some sort assisting these energy buildings same with this one that has been added Over whatever was there prior that was connected to the top parts that you can see that is no longer there and i didn't really pay attention because i was just noticing the name but look at the picture with the water there you can see how it would play some sort of role whatever that building was actually designed for. Barbed antennas running all the way around the perimeter at the top of the structure. You can see how those barbed antennas really do resemble modern day technology that we use for electricity. If you look at a power station, the resemblance is <laughs> there to be seen. I almost missed it, the copper antenna dome there in the middle of the building. You can see it just behind that barbed antenna to the left. So this is a good place I think to wrap this video up because the weather's starting to get a little bit windy, the rain's coming down a bit. But I'll leave you with the magnificent structure there one last time. Hope you've enjoyed part two of the wander through cork. And we've got more places to see, more old world wonders, as I like to refer to them. We've got plenty to see in the county of Cork, which we'll be going through over the next couple of days. Take care of one another, stay blessed. And if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. I had to drop that one in there. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you all on the next video. Take care.